According to the World Health Organization, over 1 billion people worldwide, or about 15% of the population, have some form of disability. This includes physical, sensory, intellectual, and psychosocial disabilities. The most common types of disabilities include mobility impairments, vision loss, hearing loss, and intellectual disabilities. Prosthetic limbs can be life-changing for people with disabilities, offering them a chance to regain independence, improve their quality of life, and boost their self-confidence. Prosthetic body parts are artificial devices designed to replace missing or dysfunctional parts of the body, or to improve the function of an existing part. They come in many different forms, with varying levels of complexity and sophistication, depending on the specific needs of the individual. Limb prostheses, these are the most common type, replacing arms, legs, hands, feet, fingers, and toes. Prosthetics have been around for centuries. The earliest known prosthetic was a wooden toe found in Egypt, dating back to around 1000 BC. Throughout history, people have used a variety of materials to create prosthetics, including wood, leather, metal, and even glass. Today, prosthetics can be incredibly sophisticated, with features like bionic hands that can grip objects and even sense touch. Some prosthetics are even powered by motors and can be controlled with the user's thoughts. How prosthetic parts are made. Creating a prosthetic part is a fascinating process that combines cutting-edge technology with individual customization. The journey begins with a thorough assessment by a prosthetist, who understands the patient's needs, lifestyle, and desired functionality. Materials. Prosthetic limbs are typically made from lightweight, durable materials like carbon fiber, titanium, and silicone. Other components, like sockets and interfaces, may use gel, foam, or other materials for comfort and fit. How prosthetics work. The way a prosthetic works can vary depending on its type and complexity, but there are some general principles that apply to most of them. Socket. This custom-fitted attachment connects the prosthetic to the residual limb. It's crucial for comfort, stability, and control. Suspension system. This helps keep the prosthetic securely attached to the body. Common methods include straps, sleeves, and vacuum pumps. Internal structure. This forms the skeleton of the prosthetic, often made of lightweight and durable materials like carbon fiber or titanium. Joints. These allow for movement and flexibility, mimicking the natural joints of the replaced limb. Wearing a prosthetic is painful. Wearing a prosthetic can be a complex experience, and pain can be a factor, but it's not always inevitable or a constant companion. Poor fit. The socket, the part of the prosthetic that connects to the residual limb, needs to be perfectly fitted for optimal comfort and function. If it's too loose or tight, it can rub and cause pressure sores, leading to pain and discomfort. Skin irritation. The materials used in prosthetics, especially some liners and adhesives, can irritate sensitive skin. This can lead to itching, redness, and even blisters. Benefits of prosthetics. Restore mobility and independence. Improve function and quality of life. Reduce pain and discomfort. Enhance appearance and self-esteem. Prosthetics can be very expensive. The cost of a prosthetic can vary depending on the type of prosthetic, the materials used, and the level of technology involved. Some advanced prosthetics can cost tens of thousands of dollars. The high cost of prosthetic parts is a complex issue with several contributing factors. Here are some key reasons why they can be so expensive. 1. Advanced technology and materials. Prosthetic limbs often utilize sophisticated technology like bionics, myoelectric control, and intelligent actuators, which require specialized research and development. Lightweight and durable materials like carbon fiber and titanium are essential for functionality but come at a premium price. The first bionic hand was developed in the 1960s. There are over 2 million people in the United States who have lost a limb. The first modern prosthetic leg was invented in the 18th century by a French surgeon named Pierre-Joseph de Salt. The prosthetics market is expected to reach $8.5 billion by 2025. Prosthetics can improve people's lives. Despite the challenges, prosthetics can make a huge difference in people's lives. They can help people regain their independence, improve their quality of life, and even boost their self-confidence. Prosthetics are constantly evolving. 
new technologies and materials are being developed all the time, which is making prosthetics more comfortable and functional than ever before. Can we see with prosthetic eye? No, current prosthetic eyes cannot restore vision. Their primary purpose is cosmetic, to restore the appearance of the eye socket after an eye has been removed due to injury or medical reasons. There is a lot of support available for people with prosthetics, there are many organizations and resources that can help people with prosthetics adjust to their new limbs and manage any discomfort they may experience. Check out description for more information. Smash that like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.